Hello and welcome back to Jack's FSX videos and to the third of three episodes on this channel uh, showing you new add-ons uh, in celebration of the ultimate gaming setup and the new Alienware Aero 51. So, this third and final episode, first of all I'd just like to say sorry that it's actually taken a lot longer than I thought to get this one out. Um, basically I've just had a lot going on. So I haven't had time to release it, but here it is now. So right now, I'm just in the uh, Orbit Airlines default uh, 737, Boeing 737. Uh, so we are just going to, let me just get this add-on over here. There we are. All right. So this is the add-on, Frictionality. I said it would be a utility, so this is the one that, I've got and um, basically this is the whole interface there's no other page to it unlike some other add-ons this is pretty much all you need for it which is quite good you know it's all sim simplified and everything so um, tells you everything is well first of all you've got to check that it's connected so obviously mine's connected and uh, it's got all my aircraft details up here and everything uh, gear type wheels obviously uh, as you can see in the 737 but uh, actually hold on let me just change this uh, to spot that's a better hold on there we go right so where's that gone there it is right um, so it automatically detects your runway as concrete so if I clicked on another one which I'll show you in a second it actually takes you to a runway in the world that has sand, for example, or snow, or dirt, or whatever you want. So, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it goes for all of them. I've only ever tried it on, uh, I think I tried it on gravel and dirt, uh, just because they were right next to these. So, um, I assume if I click on planks, it will take me to planks, or snow, it will take me to snow, but still. Uh, one thing that I can just show you straight away is something, if you click on the uh, runway condition here, wet, it then just makes it rain. Uh, you know, which I suppose is good, but uh, I could just literally do that in my own settings, so um, not that great there, not anything special, but it still does that. So, skilling added bonus, and um, I assume it then obviously does make that the runway wet and then snowed, same principle if it's gonna work doesn't look like it's going to work actually uh, but I tried it earlier and it did snow um, I don't know why that's not doing it but it should do it I don't know I'll try it in a bit but yeah that's basically how it is so I'll keep on drag so these are the default sliders you can change those if you want to by the way you can only ever change these settings once you load again you can't preload preset all of this uh, so you can restore your default if you've changed it and you want to put it back so uh, it says your original there, and if you change it, it says you're modified, so I've put it up to 75%, um, sliding friction, rolling friction, braking friction. Uh, they're sort of self-explanatory, I don't think I need to explain what braking means or anything, but self-explanatory there, what each one's for. Uh, this thing down here, I haven't actually looked at, to be honest, uh, I'm not really sure what it is, I think it's just statistics, uh, but I'm not really worried about that. So, first, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to show you this. So, if I click on gravel, it has to load it all up. So, I'll just move that aside. Uh, actually, while I'm waiting, I don't actually, I've never actually really clicked on any of this, but most of it, like I said, is self explanatory. You've got web home, that's assuming their home website, their forum, support, manual, license transfer, minimize your tray. I uh, don't know why that's there when you can just click that, but I suppose it's a bigger button. Uh, no active profile switch to play mode. Don't even know what those are, but I'll figure it all out. Uh, don't know what they, those are, but I'm just showing you the main features. So here we are. Like I said, it shows you a gravel runway. Uh, I don't know whether it's just a random one or the nearest one. Let me just check if this is the same one. Um... I think it is, yeah, this is the same one it just took me to earlier. So, but I was in Denver Airport earlier. That What I was just getting with is Denver Airport and uh, Denver International. Um, so I assume it just takes you to 
one of the nearest or something, or one within a certain distance anyway. Uh, so if I bring it over, we're now just going to try another one, for example, planks. So it does, I think, automatically, let's just check this one. We'll just check if the slide has changed. I think it automatically does uh, to what, obviously, planks would be like in friction-wise, obviously. Uh, it's taking them all down to zero. So, wait, let's select that, dry. Oh no, it's going up there. I knew that was on 5%, but I don't know if these two have changed. I think they're the same as a concrete, but this is the planks. So, this one has taken me. I keep pressing F12, which takes a screenshot. I need to change that. Uh, this is, I, what is that? Into China? Oh, I don't know. Might be. I don't know if that might even be in Vietnam. Vietnam's here. Uh, I don't know. It's quite active. It's quite near a whole load of borders. I know, I know Thailand is here. But I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm sure some of you know but where that is. But that's in some sort of country in the Far East. Um, so that's that. We'll, take, we'll try one more. I want to see what ice is. See if it actually does do an ice runway, like in Antarctica or something, um, but most of these, I think, I mean, something like oil tree tug I've never even seen, but I don't know, uh, yes, it has taken me to what looks like maybe Greenland, or is that the terminal, <laughs> that's quite a small terminal, if that is, I don't know, is that? I can't even tell. I might have a look at that later, actually. Uh, let's just have a look then. What? I oh, keep doing it. Keep pressing F12. Can't do this to this. Right, where are we? Ah, it is Antarctica. I did think it was. That was my first guess. Um, so it looks like we've got two runways here. Another two over there. And another one there. With like a triangle of airports. If you could call this an airport. Um... I wouldn't call this an airport, to be honest, but I guess it is, considering you've got a little terminal or something over there. I really can't see what that is. Right, so that's just showing you that top section there. We're now going to give it a test. So if I go back to concrete, all right, I'm only going to do the tests on concrete because obviously most of the runways in the world are concrete. Um, I don't think there's barely any, though, tarmac. Uh, right, so we're going to go for concrete. We're going to keep it on dry. Uh, so let's just click that and dry. And we're not going to do any takeoffs or landings or anything. We're literally just going to roll it on the wrong way. Uh, just to see. Uh, like it's breaking, sort of thing. We'll reset the aircraft in the same place. I actually don't know where this airport is, so I'm actually just going to pick an airport. I'm going to go back to Denver. Uh, yeah, runway 2717 left. So I'll go back to Denver International, start on the same place every time, and uh, try different uh, try different things here, dry, wet, snow, and move up and down these things, see what happens. Um, and hopefully, we should notice a difference. So I'll put it up to 100% throttle for uh, f probably 5 seconds or something, maybe 10 actually, uh, what should I do it as? Uh, right, so let me just get a timer up. Alright, here we go. So. We are just going to push forward the throttle. We'll do it for... We'll do it for five seconds, okay? And uh, then we'll put on full brakes and see where the aircraft stops, okay? So... We'll go... Now. Actually, no, we won't give it 5 seconds, I didn't realise how slow that was going to go up. We'll give it for 15 seconds. So we're now at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, full brakes. The wheel growing into the ground a bit there. 
Alright, okay. So we'll call it. Uh, we'll call the wheel stopped there, on that line there, and get swung to. Yeah, three behind that sign. Alright, that'll be easy to remember because it's the first taxiway. It's the first sign, really, on there. Okay, so. That was with the settings like this. Now, if I actually put it on wet, obviously it does change these things automatically. But the thing is, is that I don't know if it FSX does that automatically when I change it to rain in weather up here. So that's the trouble with this sort of thing. Um, but we'll, we'll actually we'll put it on. Um, we'll put everything up there, up to the top. Okay, and uh, we'll try it again. So we'll go back into airport same place and uh, we'll see if it really does have an effect so restart my timer uh, what is going on there is that a cloud yeah it's a cloud is Gangva high up or something it's got is it got a high altitude I don't know I've never been so three two one go Alright, so on five seconds, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Full brakes. Okay. That stopped a lot earlier. A lot earlier. Right, maybe then, by increasing... Uh, I think... Uh, I'm looking at it backwards. I think increasing the brake friction modifier actually uh, means that... I, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I think it's just backwards. I think if we put that on zero... Uh, I don't know. Let's try it. Right, so with all of them on max, that has... Right, let's just... <laughs> Let's just try that again. All right. So, well, at least we know if we have them all on max, it stops sooner. All right. So, start that and go. All right. So, put that up to full. Five seconds now. Now, in ten seconds. And 15. Full brakes. Right, so that's definitely sliding a lot more. That's definitely gone past that sign there. Let's just go back into the centre a bit. I can even move that. Right, so that is sliding a lot more. So it's good to know that this program definitely works. Because I have had some programs in the past, some utilities that say they do this stuff and then they don't. But this frictionality definitely works and is definitely good. So, uh, we'll try them all on zero now, see what happens. And I think this might be the last one I'll do. Uh, what am I doing? Go to airport. Alright. So, here we go. All on zero, it's still under wet conditions. Press the start there. Right, two, one, zero. And we're going. And five seconds now. Ten. And fifteen. Full brakes. Jesus, is this thing going to stop? <laughs> okay. It's still going. Jeez, we're at 80 knots. Yes, I was definitely looking at that thing backwards. So, 
Yeah, it stops the fastest when you've got them all on max, and it stops the slowest when you've got them all on minimum. I don't, don't know why I didn't see that before, but that does make sense now that I've realised that. So, uh, yeah. Max is quickest, minimum is slowest. That would be easy to remember. This is still going. It's using up the whole runway and it's still only on 77. That was proud. Let's put the parking brake on. My throttle's definitely off, isn't it? Yeah. Just confirm, yep, yeah, 0%. And that's just gone off the end of the runway. It's about to hit the threshold. That would be disastrous if that was in real life, if it hit that thing. But it's there for a reason. Right, now that I've put the parking brake on and swayed a bit, it stopped a lot quicker. But still, you would never put the parking brake on if you were landing a plane. Oh yeah, I see now. We're at 5,500 feet. That's why. There's clouds right here. So, that is it for this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly have. Because... I didn't actually believe this thing was going to work, but it does. So, Frictionality, I would recommend it if you're looking for that extra realism because it definitely works and it definitely does what it's meant to and it's good. And it's pretty simple to use. So, you've got your, just to recap, you've got your different surfaces, you've got your conditions, and then your frictions here. Uh, like I said, I, don't, I think these are just some sort of statistics. I'm not worried about them. So. That's fine. So that's Frictionality there. And it's a good program. I would recommend it. And uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, now, a lot of you have been asking about your video requests. Don't worry, they are coming. Ten of them are coming. Uh, hopefully across the next month or so. Like I said, I've been busy recently. I'm have still, still probably going to be busy. Um, but they're coming. And once again, sorry this episode was out late. But that's it for this episode, and thank you for watching.